So now I think it's a massive opportunity for people to start considering, considering, considering making their own show. So why should you have your own TV show, Ernesto? Why would you do? Why would you recommend having your own TV show? Well, as we mentioned a little bit earlier, it has a tremendous advantages. First of all, we uh, every time that we come live in the Toilet Paper Diaries, we have already a made-up audience of between 1,000 and 1,500 people, which, of course, took a little bit of time to grow, but, of course, it's exponential, so that's great. Second, you can create the, the, effort, the content that you need to create your YouTube asset. You can do the whole thing immediately, and that's just the incredible thing. And also what happens is that right now, for example, yesterday... I was invited and they, there was a, they were saying, well, I'm looking for somebody that has a lot of camera uh, experience. And of course, it has an experience in broadcasting. I immediately I said, well, you know, here is my my um, uh, speaker media kit. They saw the speaker media kit and they contacted me right away and they said, yes, I would like to talk to you. Apparently, it is somebody that has a show in some prime uh, TV. So I do not know what's going to happen, but you know, I already made an impact. Why? Because of course they can see all the body of of uh, uh, creation that we that we have done, and this has done in only about three months. So this is definitely something that is very doable. It's something that you don't really have to work if you have the if you don't have the if you don't have the crazy personality as possibly Dave and I uh, could have, because there's an audience for everyone. And I think this is exactly the point that Dave is going to be uh, talking about because he's going to be explaining to you what kind of TV shows you can have, right? Absolutely. So there we are. We've established the fact that it's very simple to do. And also there's a number of different types of shows you can put together. So let's have a look. In fact, if we go full screen on this, Ernesto, it's probably easier to go through. So what you need to do is you need to look at a niche. Because online, as you've already experienced with Google searching and the internet, you really want to be able to turn around and say, um, I do something that nobody else does. Why is it that you want to do something like that? Well, because the fact is, if you can declare that you own a niche, it might be that you've only got a couple of thousand people into that niche, but they can't get access to this stuff anywhere else. So they're only going to come to you and you'll find that you'll have a very loyal tribe of your stuff. So here's 10 different things to look at. First of all, weekly planning. Planning your week. What are you going to do with the week ahead? Different ideas, different things you could share. You could tap into all the existing uh, calendars and um, scheduling um, platforms, and you can tell people how to do it all very effectively and very properly. Uh, chirp in at any point, Ernesto, by the way, if you want to add anything to this. Um, number two is how to... Think about the education world. Think about the amount of parents are having to do all the homework with their kids. You never had to do all that stuff before. But also, if you're at university and you're working really hard to get your to get your degree, but you're doing it from home, you really need help. So if you are an expert and you know how to help people study, this is a whole show and a whole area that you can position yourself and you've got a market that's got money and they're all around the world and they want to do stuff to effectively work with you. And next up, we go how to budget. If you're going through a tough time or even, so as I was mentioning there, how to budget, how to make sure that you look after your finances properly. And that's something in its own where people like to know where you get the coupons. People like to know where you're spending your money on. Also how to be more effective. Then you've got the mummies and daddies show. And that sounds rude, but it's not. A show exclusively for mums telling moms how to do stuff better, sharing tips, sharing empathy, and explaining how to bring up a family or how to you know, look after the toddlers and all that kind of stuff. Then you've got the other side, which is dads. Dads are notoriously hard to look after because we don't do anything apart from work and just be dads. So we could watch a show all about you know, being a, a, the man of the house that was aimed at us in our language for us to feel better, and that's an area that has been sadly underlooked after in terms of broadcasting. Number five, raising kids, raising babies. Nobody tells you how to be a parent. The viewer sharing best tips all the time with real life examples, you'd find an audience that just turns to you for help, especially people who don't have access to their in-laws, especially during lockdown. Fitness for the unfit. Now, there's loads of people who do fitness videos, but not so many who do them if you're out of shape and you're starting from scratch. 
if you're like me, and I mean, I've got a background of being fit before, but right now in lockdown, I like my M&Ms. And instead, I, what I'd like to do is find somebody from scratch who appreciates the fact that you aren't ready, but you want to do it. Nobody really looks after that properly. You've just got to do all your Abu Dhabi um, sit-ups and all the rest of it. No, take it slowly. Um, somebody doing that would find a big audience. Then you've got life hacks, business hacks from every industry. What would you suggest to people so they could make faster progress, make more money, and also dominate their industry? Then meal planning. Right now, especially if you're in lockdown, but any other time, you tend to buy meals, you tend to order them in. But if you can be told by somebody how to do it without the guilt of having to be super fit while doing it, that's a whole different area, including buying and including cooking. And cooking shows, as you know, are massive. Then we've got home activities. And that's a huge, wide area, including gardening, including cleaning, including getting stuff out of your cupboards, including um, putting shelves up, all the things you could do at home, all the things you might want to do by changing your bedroom round or creating a home office. Imagine a show that was all about decor for a home office that you're going to start broadcasting from all around the world. Not a bad idea. And think of a possible sponsorships from the likes of Ikea and whoever would want to get their stuff featured on a regular basis. And the last of the niches here is your homeschooling tips. I touched on it earlier of how to study, but this is specific to people who have children at home who want to be better at doing it. And mums and dads don't want to spend their time reinventing how to do mathematics from when they were at school. If you do a show that teaches everybody how to learn at the same time, You've got a guaranteed market, and people would even pay for the subscription because it's cheaper than school fees. So there's 10 ideas. What do you think, Ernesto? I, I love it, and uh, I want to recommend you, if you want to get some information or if you want to work with us or you want us to help you in putting together your show, please get in touch either with me or with Dave in Ernesto.today or in the thedavecrane.com. Uh, and uh, we can definitely help you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you really enjoyed it, then make sure you watch one of these two videos afterwards. And Ernesto, wh why are you staring up on top of my head? Dave, your hair is actually thinning out. Well, if it is, it's about the only thing getting thin on this show. Here on this side, we have some more amazing videos for you to watch. My name is Ernesto Verdugo. And my name is Dave Crane. No, sorry, it's the other way around, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I'm Dave Crane. And my name is Ernesto Verdugo and keep on watching these shows over there. Take care, see you soon.